Hi, I'm Cale from Melling. Thanks for clicking. Judging from the calls in the tech department, we need to spend some time discussing the installation of the VVT actuator on the 5.7 liter Hemi engines. We have received calls and have seen cams return that have the VVT actuator alignment dowel sheared off. One thing to remember is that this dowel pin is for alignment purposes only and plays no role in the mechanical attachment of the VVT actuator to the camshaft. The mechanical clamping of the VVT actuator to the snout of the camshaft is totally dependent on the proper torque of the actuator to camshaft mount bolt. Let's take a look at the proper installation procedure. First, install your new mounting camshaft. Next, we will install the crank sprocket, making sure that the timing mark is in the six o'clock position. Next, install the chain guide and timing tensioner, torquing the mounting bolts to 97 inch pounds. Now we can wrap the chain around the VVT actuator sprocket. The timing chain will have three specially marked links. The two specially marked links that are next to each other will align with the timing mark on the VVT actuator, which when properly installed will be at 12 o'clock. The single special mark link will align with the timing mark on the crank sprocket and once again should be in the six o'clock position when properly installed. Keep in mind that this is an interference engine, so care must be taken if the camshaft or crankshaft need to be turned to properly align the marks. Now that we have verified that the engine is properly timed, we can torque the VVT actuator mounting bolt. This bolt should be installed with hand tools only as an impact wrench can cause damage to the VVT sprocket, camshaft, or VVT alignment pin. With an assistant holding the flywheel to keep the crankshaft from turning, torque the VVT mounting bolt to 72 foot-pounds. Now you're ready to assemble the rest of the front of the engine. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm Kale from Melling. Thanks for clicking.